ruin your new Toyota Tacoma if you don't do this. Did you? Are you? Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. And that's right, there are a couple of things that you need to do so that you don't ruin your brand new Toyota Tacoma. This is important, particularly if you're looking to keep the truck for a long time. If you're a frequent trader like I am, may not be quite as important, but still, it's good peace of mind to have to follow these two things. Now, I'm referring to the manual, the Toyota Tacoma Bible. First of all, we're going to start on page 171. Now, this is very important, and it's something that I got to admit, I haven't always followed too well. Frankly, because I thought with the newer vehicles, it wasn't necessary. Everything is so precision and tight these days that certainly none of this can matter. But apparently it still does. So what I'm talking about is, first of all, breaking in the Toyota Tacoma. You know, you've just bought a brand new one, driven it off the lot. It might have 10, 5 miles on it, something like that. So obviously, it's not broken in. That's for you to do, and that's what you want. So let's run through it real quick, and then there's another very important thing that you should be doing with your Toyota Tacoma. So it says here, it's titled, Breaking In Your New Toyota. Uh, to extend the life of the vehicle, and this is where it's important if you plan on keeping it a long time, observing the following precautions is recommended. You know, they don't say you've got to do it, but they recommend you do it. First of all, for the first 200 miles or 300 kilometers, avoid sudden stops. Now, that's so that you give a chance for the brakes to seat, right? Everything's brand new. There's two different materials meshing up against each other. You want them to seat well. So you don't want to slam on the brakes and create a shallow point, a hollow point, if you will. Next up, for the first 500 miles or 800 kilometers, do not tow a trailer. Now, I've seen a lot of people do this, actually, well before the first 500 miles. They say that they've bought their brand new Tacoma and they're going on a trip and they show pictures of the truck hooked up to a trailer. There's no way they've got 500 miles on it unless they went out and took a trip before. It doesn't appear so. So it's important that you don't tow for the first 500 miles. Next up, there's a lot of different milestones here. For the first 1,000 miles, do not drive at extremely high speeds. I'm assuming that's above the legal limits, which is 75 to 80, depending on, well, 65 to 80, depending on what part of the country you live in. But I would think 80 might be considered uh, an extremely high speed too. So you gotta be careful. Uh, number two under the first 1,000 miles is avoid sudden acceleration. So you don't wanna be racing those Honda Ridge lines or Ford Rangers off the line. You're not gonna beat them anyway, unless maybe you've put a Sprint Booster in, but otherwise you don't stand a chance, so don't even bother, and it's not good for the truck in the first 1,000 miles. Do not drive continuously in low gears. So I'm assuming that means don't manually shift it low or keep it real low. In other words, just putzing along at two miles an hour for a hundred miles or something, you know? You want it to run through the gears. Next up, do not drive at a constant speed for extended periods. This is the one that's always tough for me to adhere to. You know, if you're daily driving the truck, let's say you use it to go to work, you take a freeway or whatever route you take, Chances are there's going to be a stretch of road where it's a constant speed. Like if you're on the freeway, traveling at 65, 70 miles an hour, you know, it's always a drag to try to regulate the speed when you're doing that. You know, you have to consciously be aware and then slow down and speed up and slow down and speed up. It's kind of a drag, really. Now, there's one other point here and that's all of the break-in items. But it says here, and this is important because a lot of people talk about the noises that the Tacoma makes. One of the biggest complaints is the engine itself, right? Sounds kind of rattly, almost like a diesel here and there. You hear a lot of clanking around and stuff. That's normal. But it says here, the emission system operating sounds 
may continue for a short time after the engine is turned off. So you may hear some background sounds right away when you turn the engine off. It's not really a big deal. It says this is not a malfunction and helps to ensure optimal performance of the emission system. Now, one other thing to point out, and mine does this and all my Tacomas have done it, I think all vehicles do, is you're gonna hear every once in a while a noise from the back, right where the gas filler area is. That's the fuel pump, equalizing pressure in there, if you will. That thing is gonna run periodically, maybe every four hours or so, Kind of depends on temperature, elevation, all that stuff, but it's a normal function. So when you walk out in the garage at midnight and you hear your Tacoma humming at you, that's a normal thing. It should last for several seconds and then it'll shut off and you shouldn't hear it again for probably another three or four hours, something like that. Now, there is something else that you should be doing so that you don't ruin your new Toyota Tacoma and that has to deal with the four-wheel drive system. Now, my truck happens to be two-wheel drive, so I don't have to worry about it, but I do have a couple of four-wheel drive Jeeps out there, and the same thing applies to them. It says here, you should drive in four-wheel drive for at least 10 miles or 16 kilometers each month. This will ensure that the front drive components are lubricated. Now, this is important, and I've heard of people that don't do this, and they've had issues with their four-wheel drive system. It doesn't work, it leaks, makes noises, just a myriad of different problems. You wanna make sure that you stick it into four-wheel drive once a month, like they said, for about 10 miles, to make sure that everything up there is lubricated, because you have a lot of components up there as part of the four-wheel drive system and they're not being lubricated if you don't utilize that system. In other words, any grease or anything that's in there can settle, doesn't work its way through the parts, and that can cause you troubles later on. You know, I've often wondered, I had a torn CV axle boot on my last Toyota Tacoma. That was a 2020 and it was four wheel drive. And I didn't put that into four wheel drive very often. I tried to remember to do it, but I often wondered if maybe because it wasn't lubricated properly, just speaking of lubricated components, that somehow things moved around a little bit in there and it tore the boot. I actually think it's probably more due to the angle I created by lifting the truck three and a half inches, but you never know. And this is a simple thing to do. Just pop it into four wheel drive, drive it for 10 miles and be done with it. Now, one caveat to that, and there's a big controversy about this. People always say, ah, oh, you should never drive it on pavement and four wheel drive. You know, the truck doesn't know if it's on pavement or if it's on dirt or gravel, snow or ice. I mean, it doesn't know. The key and the important part there is not to turn if you can avoid it sharply. It's not to say that you can't drive it for 10 miles down a road and there are some gentle winding turns here and there. That's not a big deal. The biggest problem in doing that is you're gonna eat your tires because all four of those tires are fighting for traction and trying to grab. And if there's no slippage, no spinning, like there would be off-road, it's just gonna eat your tires very quickly. That's the biggest problem, that and not making sharp turns. Anyway, those are just a few things that you should do so that you don't ruin your Toyota Tacoma, your brand new Toyota Tacoma. Leave a comment, let me know. Do you follow these things? Do you do these things? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive JT, all about Jeep Gladiators, and Rob Motive MT, all about mini trucks. Currently, the 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.